Hey everybody, it's Ryan. If you're looking for a fishing lure that you might not have seen before, this video is for you. So what I have here is not one, not two, but three. Three of these lures from a, this brand right here. So let me give you some details of these and why they're a little bit different. So these lures are about 0.38 ounces uh, lengthwise, total length, if you include the back uh, of the base of where the, the rear hook is gonna be, is about three and a half inches and the body itself is about two and a half inches. This is a number six treble hook. Uh, it looks to be a stainless steel, quite sharp. And then it does have a propeller on the back that spins very freely. The smoothness of the spin on the rear let me know that this was a higher than usual quality lure. Uh, this does float. At close inspection, you can see the detail on this is pretty awesome. Uh, you actually can see the, the uh, details in the scales. The eyes are of a 3D type design. Very, very cool. Um, this is considered a top water bait and the colors are extremely realistic. So this is more of a, a blue, I'm gonna call this like a blue shad type look. Uh, this one is almost like a, almost has a, a bluegill type look to it with uh, a dark top, sort of a, a golden with some, some, some accents there uh, and sort of a, a red bottom. And then you have this one that looks more like an injured shad with uh, a red front and uh, more of a silver natural uh, rear end. So from a color and focus on detail, very in the sheen on that, I mean, it, it, it looks like real scales. The action on these is very aggressive because the, uh, the propeller on the rear end gives off a nice splash. Uh, the nose on this gives it a little bit of a dip down, so it's gonna churn up uh, and bring a lot of tension. This would be something more likely for uh, bass, topwater, even even uh, large, let's say crappie, bluegill, because size-wise, it's right on point where it fits right in that, that size range where a nice size bluegill, crappie, uh, and largemouth bass could pick these things up pretty easily. Also inside, these are built with an internal rattle. So you have the rattle, you have the water agitation when this is, is being pulled through the water. You have the water agitation with the repair, uh, propeller on the rear. You also have the very realistic sheen. I mean, they are like scales. And from a casting standpoint, because it has sort of a torpedo type look, this thing is very aerodynamic, even with the propeller and cast very nicely to get those long distance cast. I wouldn't have believed it unless I would have experienced it, but literally on my first day using this lure, I was able to catch this bass. Now, full disclosure, this company did send this to me and said, Ryan, give us your honest review. Tell us what you think. Hopefully that came across in this video. Happy fishing, and we'll tie to you soon.